Hey, I'm back with you today with a fresh review of a, of a brand new fitness tracker from our friends at More Pro. This is model CS201. Regular viewers of this channel will know that I'm a big fan of the More Pro devices. I've been wearing the More Pro ECG on my wrist for months. It's, it's become my favorite. Prior to this, I used their More Pro HRV. Uh, I handed that down to my daughter when I uh, started wearing the ECG. This is their newest watch. They reached out to me to ask if I would review it. Uh, they saw my previous reviews. And this guy has 18 sports modes in it. And it has uh, constant SpO2 or blood oxygen saturation measurements. And it's got some neat stuff like uh, it's waterproof, it'll do your heart rate. Now this will not do blood pressure or HRV per se. So let me open this guy up, show you what it looks like out of the box. And if you've seen any of my reviews before, you know I'm going to charge this thing up and I'm going to wear it for multiple days if not a week and um, really get a good feel for it and understand how it works and then I will come back and do a full review. Okay, they've put a couple pieces of tape along the side here to secure this thing. All right, so it's in here pretty secure. That's a pretty uh, sturdy piece of plastic covering this watch. Okay, we'll pull that out. This is the watch itself. Very neat looking tracker. This is reminiscent of uh, the Amazfit BIP. So you get the watch itself, you get the uh, charging cable and an instruction booklet again this is the more pro cs201 uh, my first impression is it's a really good looking watch it's got replaceable watch band on it and it looks an awful lot like my other friend the amaze fit bip in fact i would say uh, they the size and shape almost looks identical um, so let me get this guy going. Uh, this is a very satisfying part of any new watch, and it's peeling that film off. Oh my goodness, that's so good. Um, maybe the only other better part is when I drop these things in the water. That's pretty satisfying too. So let me press and hold the button, see if there's any juice in here. Oh, it says hello. And it gives me the time here, and you can go through the screens. This would be your heart rate, your step count, uh, Damn, I'm not sure what that is. Calorie burn. This has built-in functionality for controlling music via Bluetooth, so you can uh, fast forward or repeat songs. I don't know if it'll do volume. Haven't learned enough about it yet. Um, but it's got 18 different sports modes, scientific sleep. I think More Pro does the best job in the industry of tracking sleep. Um, and a lot of other functions we'll get into here when I come back in a few days and do this review. Uh, one thing I really like are all these sports modes in here, and I am secretly hoping. Um, now, this thing will actually track swimming and swim strokes, and it's got something called a SWOLF score, S-W-O-L-F, which is an acronym uh, that combines swimming and golf, and this thing will keep track of strokes and stroke efficiency while you're swimming, and just like a golf score, the lower that is, the better. That means you're more efficient. Um, I'm hoping, just hoping, it will recognize a kayak stroke as a swimming stroke. So that's my hope here. It's a waterproof device. Let me get this bad boy charged up and I'll come back to you with my full review and my final thoughts. Hey guys, I'm back less than 24 hours later and I had the chance to uh, test this guy out on the water today and I've never done an interim review before. But on this particular guy, I have found out that this can uh, recognize paddle strokes and actually apply analytics to them, all right? I called it swimming, so in the app I, I assumed that a, a kayak paddle stroke is a close uh, approximate for swimming, so I said I was going swimming, and this thing did analytics. analytics. It counted my total strokes, over 3,000 strokes, calorie burn, average stroke rate, maximum stroke rate, and some charts on the bottom. So this is going to give me the analytics for a paddling stroke that I've been looking for for years. Um, and then another cool thing I found is you can change the watch faces. You can change the watch face 
and you can scroll through the defaults and then the really cool thing is you can customize your own and this is a picture from a film I did a few weeks ago it was a kayaking video um, applying a surf ski to downriver paddling and it was called waves up your hooter and if you want to like kill five minutes of your life go uh, go search on waves up your hooter on YouTube and you'll see this video but I think that's a cool feature um, if you go into the sports modes here there's 18 different sports modes come back I'm gonna post the new full review video of this at the end and it's probably gonna include some of this footage too but I'm gonna let you know which one of these is gonna reside on my wrist either the more pro ECG or the more pro uh, CS201 okay guys I'm back through the magic of editing I've been wearing this watch now for a couple of weeks I w really wanted to put it through its paces and I think I can speak about it in an intelligent manner now you'll notice the menus are pretty simple it comes up with the time first of all it gives you your progress towards uh, your steps and your calorie burn if you scroll past that you get into some features here and functions you can take your heart rate on demand you can uh, check your heart health and this will basically turn on a feature where it will look for a, a heart arrhythmia and alert you I've been I have that turned off but I think this is one of the best features and one of the biggest reasons you would buy this particular watch is if you have the concern of a heart arrhythmia this would be an excellent device to have it monitor and give you an alert if it detects some sort of abnormality in your uh, in your heart rate and heartbeat okay there is a stress monitor here and the way you take this measurement is it says don't move keep the screen face up on your wrist what this is doing and obviously I'm not going to um, uh, do it I'm not going to keep it on my wrist but it will take that reading and give you a stress reading and this is really a measure of HRV more about that in a minute the other things you can do here is do your SpO2 reading or your blood oxygen saturation now you would press and hold that and it's the same deal you would hold your wrist uh, preferably rested on a counter watch side up um, but what this will do oh it failed of course because it's not on my wrist but this will turn on the red diode this does indeed have the green and the red diode okay all right so this has the green and red diodes in it so that's a huge plus this is uh, the kind of thing you find in the really nicer kind of higher end watches where it's got both the green and the red diodes of course there's scientific sleep that you can enable messages stopwatch alarm timer compass that's a pretty cool feature it says shake the watch it's got a built-in compass here so you'll always know which way is north um, I don't know when or how that would be useful but I'm guessing it would be useful to some people and um, with the settings here of course you can change your watch face you can even put a customized one on there as I showed you in the previous segment adjust the brightness I'm gonna turn this up for the purposes of this video I had it all the way down and you can see it got much brighter now and you can reset it do a factory reset you can scroll through to all the sports run fast walk pool swim I'm not gonna read them all um, but I have used the cycling and the swimming feature and I'll talk about that more in a little bit when we get into the app I love the looks of this watch it's a beautiful watch um, I've taken it kayaking several times now um, and it's I think it's a gorgeous watch it, I think it's beautiful it kind of looks like an Apple watch or the the Amazfit bip uh, let's get into the app that comes with it okay so for the purposes of this app review I've dimmed the studio lighting the app here is something called Z Roner Health and maybe if I tilt this up a little bit more you'll get a better uh, view of the screen here in general I like this app it, um, it seems to always be constantly on in the background which maybe isn't the greatest but you can see here I took it cycling and it will keep track of your statistics your heart rate throughout that cycling session it will keep track of your average heart rate your lowest and your highest and it will also break down your ride in the, the various zones so I was nine minutes in regular 24 minutes in warm-up 20 minutes in fat burning 15 minute aerobic zone five minutes in the anaerobic stage that's all related to your heart rate zone so I really like this analysis keep in mind 
The mileage it reports was nowhere near correct. This ride was about a five mile ride. This device does not have uh, GPS built into it and I don't know how it estimates this mileage. I did not turn location services on for this ride. I didn't want to you know, chew up the battery on both my phone and the watch. So perhaps with location services turned on it would give you a much better estimate of mileage. Balling, mountaineering, swimming, okay. So as I thought, I've taken this kayaking three times now and it will count paddle strokes as a swimming stroke. So I'm going to continue to use this um, in my training for kayak training. It tells me my total number of strokes, my calorie burn, my average stroke rate, my maximum stroke rate. This is an extremely useful to me because I have my usual either usually a 10 or 14 mile training runs, a well-known route. And I've been able to see kind of what my heart rate does and what my stroke rate does under various conditions, how I'm feeling, and in different boats. This is incredibly useful to me. Um, I love this feature, so I'm going to keep using it, uh, <laughs> if not for nothing else, this reason. All right, I love the stroke analysis. I mentioned it has something called a SWOLF score, S-W-O-L-F. Upon a little bit more research, that only works if you're swimming laps in a pool and you define the length of the pool so it knows you know what you're doing uh, and it's across the le uh, length and then it will give you that swole score to let you know basically the lower that number the fewer number of strokes the more efficient you are covering that distance i i defined it as open water swimming so it, it's not able to calculate that score it does your sleep analysis it gives you your zones uh in, in light sleep versus deep sleep and rem sleep you can scroll back through the various days and uh, you know see how you did and this is extremely useful feedback also it keeps continuous heartbeat and uh, let, now I told you earlier I was going to talk about uh, heart rate variability well this implements it not in the traditional way of heart rate variability but it gives you a stress score so when you hit that button on the watch to take your stress reading you hold it still for I think it's either 30 or 60 seconds it will do this calculation of a stress score and it will come back and tell you what your stress score is now mine here is 17 now think of this as an inverse of a heart rate variability reading this is more for the uh, average person who doesn't really care to research heart rate variability and know how it works. And I brought the studio lights back up here for a minute. And you will see on my app, um, this is giving me a stress score of 17. And that is well down in the relaxed zone. 30 to 60 is normal. 60 to 80 is medium. 80 to 100 is high. I think this would be an awesome device for people who just want to manage their stress levels. The lower that number, the more relaxed you are. The higher that number, the more stressed you are. And if you go think back to my heart rate variability and ECG discussion during my more pro uh, ECG device. In that previous video when I talked about the ECG, I was showing you the various uh, parts of a cardiogram in layman's terms. And we talked about the QT interval. That's from the beginning of this wave to this wave. All right, now through the magic of sliding a sheet of paper up a little bit, I'll show you what this device is doing. It is analyzing the RR interval. So it's from one of these R peaks to the next one on the next heartbeat. And what it will do is keep track of the time between the one R wave, the second R wave, the third. It will do a correlation to correlate how each of these relates, the time frame of each of these relates back to the period before it. And it's able to sense changes in these uh, RR intervals and how that is uh, looking based on your stress levels and your recovery. So this is really a, a way to implement HRV or heart rate variability where instead of getting a high number, meaning your heart rate is highly vi variable, which is a good thing, that means you're relaxed and your heart rate is not forced into a very tight uh, repeating pattern. Uh, this is giving you the opposite, so you're giving a lower score and they call it a stress score. I imagine it's going to be easier for most people 
to get a stress score here and understand what that means rather than try to figure out what heart rate variability means. I've been explaining it to people for years and I still get questions about for heart rate variability what's good, a high score or a low score. Uh, so I think this this stress level implementation is probably much better in this watch. My bottom line is for a watch under $50, this is a great value. It's an absolutely great value. Love this watch. Uh, you can see here, I paid a little less than 44 bucks for it. It is the More Pro CS201. I like this device. I'm going to continue using it in my training. And now I teased you early on and said I'm going to choose which one of these is going to be my everyday wearer from now on. Either the CS201 or the More Pro ECG. Let's see which one it will be. And the winner is the More Pro ECG. I'm going to stick with this one as my everyday uh, fitness tracker. I like the fact that this one automatically does blood pressure readings. Also, I've become very uh, used to uh, reading that in the morning to see what my blood pressure did at night and in the morning. Um, and I like the heart rate variability. I've studied it. I understand it. I like seeing the actual uh, variability in the heart rate and the times associated with that more than just a more generic, uh, generalized uh, stress number. That said, I'm going to continue to use the CS201 in my kayak training just to count paddle strokes. Uh, I wish this did blood pressure, and I wish it gave me the HRV instead of the stress reading. Uh, you know, other, if it did those two things, it would be my everyday wearer. Um, I think the sleep tracking analysis is perhaps slightly better on the uh, More Pro ECG, but then again, it might just be the way I'm wearing it and the, and the way the the, uh, the band fits. I find I have to loosen up the CS201 a bit uh, to make it comfortable, and maybe it's too loose at night to sleep. Or maybe I'm just not sleeping as well uh, the last few weeks as I did before. But hey, these are both great watches. Both are excellent choices. You, you can't go wrong. Neither one has GPS. I wish they did. Uh, but the, they both give you an indication of stress. They'll both give you continuous heart rate. Um, I just give the nod to the More Pro ECG uh, because it will give you a continuous blood pressure and automatic SpO2 readings as blood oxygen saturation. It will do those automatically as you sleep, whereas the CS201, you have to go into the mode and click the button and sit and hold and wait for it to take the measurement and then record it to your app. So I like the, uh, the nature of doing that automatically. So there you go. Um, I love both of these. They're both solid values. I would recommend them both. It just all depends on which feature set you're looking for and uh, you know what to do like this video share it click on the link below if you want to go check it out on Amazon uh, you can buy it there through my affiliates link and uh, be sure to subscribe to this channel on my main channel page you can go to my product reviews and see all of my reviews there until next time stay healthy and be safe <music>